Hi guys and welcome to this tutorial. Now in a previous tutorial we said that two shapes are similar if one shape is an enlargement of the other shape. Now so far we've described this enlargement by comparing similar or corresponding lengths but if it's a 2D shape you can also describe the enlargement by comparing areas and if it's a 3D shape you can describe the enlargement by comparing volumes and this means that we can also find the scale factor of area and volume so in this tutorial we're going to be using an example to calculate the scale factor of length area and volume and seeing the relationship between three of those values for similar shapes Okay, so here we have two squares, shape A and shape B. Shape A is three by three centimeters and shape B is nine by nine centimeters. And we're told that both shapes are mathematically similar, which means that by comparing similar or corresponding sides, we can find a scale factor of length. So as the length of A is equal to three centimeters and the length of B is equal to nine centimeters, we can find the scale factor of length by dividing nine by three to get that the scale factor of length is equal to three. Now, since this is a 2D shape, it means that you can also enlarge or shrink the shapes in equal proportion by their area. So we can also find the scale factor of area using the same method. The area of A is equal to three times by three, which is equal to nine centimeters squared. And the area of B is nine times nine, which is equal to 81 centimeters squared. And so to find the scale factor of area, what we need to do is divide the larger area by the smaller area. And therefore the scale factor of area is equal to 81 divided by nine, which is equal to nine. Now comparing these two scale factors, the scale factor of area is nine, which is three squared. Now, when you have two similar shapes that are two dimensional, you'll find that this is a general relationship between the scale factor of area and the scale factor of length. The scale factor of area will always be the square of the scale factor of length. So let's extend this idea and see what happens when we have 3D shapes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add dimensions to these shapes. And so now let's look at the shape A as a cube that is three by three by three centimeters and shape B as a cube that's nine by nine by nine centimeters. So since we're now looking at a 3D shape, a measurement that we can use to describe the enlargement of similar shapes is the surface area. Now, if we also assume that both of these shapes are mathematically similar, then we should also be able to find a scale factor for surface area. So we can also find this scale factor by using the same method. So the surface area for cube A is equal to nine times six as the area of a face is equal to nine centimeters squared and there are six faces and that gives us 54 centimeters squared and the surface area of B is equal to 81 multiplied by six as the area of a face is equal to 81 centimeters squared and of course there are six faces and this gives us 486 centimeters squared. So to calculate the scale factor of surface area, we need to divide the larger area 486 by the smaller area 54 to give us a scale factor of surface area is equal to 9. Another measurement that we can use that can describe the size of enlargement of similar shapes is the volume. So this means that we can also find the scale factor of volume. And since the volume of a cube is equal to the length times the width times the height, it follows that the volume of cube A is equal to 3 times by 3 times by 3, which is equal to 27 centimeters cubed. And the volume of cube B is equal to 9 times 9 times 9, which is equal to 729 centimeters cubed. So in order to find the scale factor of volume, we need to divide the larger volume by the smaller volume to get 729 divided by 27 is equal to 27, okay? So let's compare the scale factors that we've just found with the scale factor of length. The scale factor of surface area is equal to nine, which is equal to three squared. And the scale factor of volume is equal to 27, which is equal to three cubed. Now these examples show the general relationship between the scale factor of length, area and volume. So if you're given two or 3D shapes that are mathematically similar 
and you find that the scale factor of length is k which can be any positive value if you're working with two or 3d shapes then it means that the scale factor of area is equal to k squared and that the scale factor of surface area is also equal to k squared and the scale factor of volume would be equal to k cubed now whether you're dealing with 2d or 3d similar shapes the scale factor of area and surface area will always both be equal to the square of the scale factor of length and that's because they have the same dimensions for example here we saw that both the area and surface area were calculated in centimeters squared the same dimensions so we're going to see how these relationships work in practice so do jot this down so that you can refer to them in the next video where we'll be going through some example questions okay so i'll see you shortly if you like this video please give us a thumbs up leave your comments down below and subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know when we release our next videos